Hey guys, this is Emmanuel, your Emotion Code Practitioner out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I just want to do a really quick message for those of you who are married or about to go divorce or have contemplated about being, you know, getting married. I just wanted to do a really quick message for you guys um, due to the fact that, um, you know, first of all, uh, I'm a certified Emotion Code Practitioner. Some of you guys may or may not know what that is, but uh, basically it's a mode of healing uh, where I help people with emotional baggage, chronic pain, uh, different things like that. And... Um, I use magnets and applied kinesiology. But before I get into that, um, a lot of people just are kind of curious. The reason why I um, got into the emotion code, some of you don't know this, but uh, my parents were divorced after 30 years. After 30 years of marriage, we can both relate, it's a very long time, why would they split up? And, and that was one of the reasons why I was looking for answers somewhere because uh, not only with that, I was looking at my, I was reflecting on my own relationships. I was looking at, you know, why was my partner or myself easily triggered? Uh, why did we have conversations about our past that sort of sabotage what we were currently doing? And so, um, you know, why did I feel like, you know, I didn't feel much love from her some days or why did, maybe she even felt that way with me when I was trying to provide love and affection Maybe, you know, she didn't feel like she was receiving love from me. Like, why is that? So I was just kind of curious. I was, I was reading a couple of books, a lot of relationship books. And none of it really answered to me what was really going on until I started looking into bioenergetic healing. Then I started realizing the real reason why people act the way they act, why people stay in relationships, why people sabotage their own relationships. So if you can just do me a favor, just kind of keep a really... Uh, open mind right now because um, like I said when I first heard of this I was like come on seriously but the second time the third time I started reading more books and doing more research then I started applying the emotion code with different clients um, just to let you know uh, just in this year alone I think I've worked with about 700 couples uh, and I started kind of seeing the same pattern over and over and over and over again uh, I mean when you see a pattern of 700 different times but it's the same thing then I can come to the conclusion uh, of different things when it comes to relationships and why things fall apart or why things stay together. So let, let's get started. I want to just tell you real quick, um, what is the emotion code? So the emotion code is a is a way of healing. It's energy healing similar to Reiki or Theta healing. And basically what it does is uh, it uses the uh, the concepts of um, of George Goodhart. You know, back in 1964, he, he basically started what they call applied kinesiology. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's, all it is is muscle testing. So just asking questions and then pushing down on someone's arm and, and it basically responds, uh, you know, if you have something, you know, inside of you uh, currently or things in your past, every single tear you've dropped, conversation you've had. Um, I mean, there are things that even just beyond your own memory where there are sort of uh, trimester trapped emotions where you basically receive things from your mother within the womb or even way back inherited emotions, uh, things from your great, 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 great grandfather or your great, great grandmother, there's actually these energies coming down, which they've noticed back in 2015, Scientific American, they talk about how things can get passed down energetically and that if someone had depression seven generations up there, you're going to have depression down here in the generational line. And so I, I use applied kinesiology and then I also use, I use magnets. And basically, let me tell you what the emotion code is real quick before I get into kind of like what does this have to do with marriage? So, um, and first of all, let me just tell you this too. Um, some of you guys don't know this. I've actually been divorced before. Uh, this is my second marriage. So some of you guys, well, you've never been through divorce. I've been through divorce. And now that I look back and review things, I'm like, oh, it makes a lot of sense why I got divorced. Um, you know, so, so I'm coming from a place of experience. Like I said, I've also worked with 700 clients that are married. And so I, I, like I said, it's the same thing over and over again. It's trapped emotions, number one, or heart wall. Okay, so I need you guys to, if you're taking one of these, you have these little things back that we used to use in uh, the year 2000. Uh, you know, I know we use iPad and phone now, but just take this pen out. I think it'll, it'll, it'll serve you, right? So um, anyway, so I use applied kinesiology where you basically ask questions. You know, if you said, my name is Emmanuel, I push down, the, the arm is strong. If I resist, if I say, my name is Bob, it, it, it goes weak. But I can also ask questions like, do you have, like if you are feeling something in your relationship, I can say, are there trapped emotions that are making you feel that way? all of a sudden your body responds to the word trapped emotions. Or do you have a heart wall? Your body actually responds to that. You're like, why is my arm strong when you respond to that? It's because 93% of people have this, according to Dr. Bradley Nelson. So if you haven't read a book called The Emotion Code, I would definitely take a look at it. Um, that book changed my life. It's called The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Again, The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson. I would definitely review that book. Um, that book changed my life and opened up 
the world of trapped emotions, energetic imbalances, um, you know, the heart wall, um, inherited emotions, all this stuff kind of came through the emotion code. So I highly recommend that book. Uh, yes, relationship books are great. You know, the, the five languages are great. But what if you have horrible, horrible energetic imbalances inside of you that make you, that tend to sway you away on how you act according to your partner, hard to still give your love language or adapt your new love language with this person because you have these sort of automatic reactions that come out of your body. So I'm going to tell you what that's all about. Um, but basically I use these magnets too to remove these things. You might say, you know, if I, if you were in person, I would be putting this on your back. If this was uh, in long distance, which is amazing is that people say, can I work with you long distance? You can. Um, we just basically connect energetically. Uh, I start muscle testing myself and start realizing that if I say my name is Emmanuel, the, the, it doesn't actually catch, which means that I'm now connected with you energetically. Not to like find out, you know, private stuff about you or not to find out, you know, if you know a lottery ticket. It's for the sole purpose of healing and the body allows that. Uh, the body is a very complex system. Obviously, we know that. And uh, it allows people to connect energetically for healing purposes. And so then what I do is I use this magnet on myself and that basically relieves, basically removes this, uh, this trapped emotion. And so um, I want to tell you, first of all, what is a trapped emotion? So the emotion code is basically like, obviously, we're all energy, right? We have bones, uh, you know, skin, bones, cells, atoms, and then there's energy, right? So uh, Nikola Tesla said that we're all living in a realm of, you know, frequency and energy and, and vibrations. And so... Um, so basically, uh, trapped emotion is this energy that basically you feel, you experience, um, and and um, so an emotion. I'm sorry. Let me let me kind of go back there again. So basically, we're all energy. So these little emotion, these emotions that we feel are like little energies that you basically you feel, and then they kind of go on their way. Now you've probably heard people say, "I've been worried all day or frustrated all week." Well, the reality is, is that. We have a society that accepts that where they say, yeah, okay, yeah, you've been worried all week. You have finals coming up or you've been worried all day. Okay, you know, you have, um, you know, you, you just broke up with your girlfriend or whatever, right? The reality is, is that they might have actually been giving you a subconscious testimonial of something you're suffering with, a trapped emotion you have. Now, how do you receive a trapped emotion? Very simply is uh, there's a chart over here somewhere and, you know, always when you want to find something, but... Um, what it is, is basically it's a, um, there's about 60 emotions that we can experience. And what happens is if you feel an overcharged emotion, like deep sadness or deep anger or deep frustration or deep depression, things like that, these energies picture like the size of a tennis ball or like a cantaloupe gets lodged in your body, these little energies. And what happens is, it, uh, for example, anger, bitterness, guilt, hatred, resentment get lodged near the liver area. So there are three, there are three problems with that we have multiple trapped emotions. If you're 20 years old right now, you probably have dozens and dozens and dozens of trapped emotions. And that's what you're coming into in a relationship with, with these emotions. But what are the, what are the three problems with these trapped emotions? Number one is you start actually, it starts affecting that organ. So your health, right? You want to live as long as possible with your, with your partner. Yeah. You might want to look at those trapped emotions because it starts affecting and basically messing with the tissue of the heart wall over time of that specific organ. Um, number two is it, it starts inflicting pain in your body. I mean, I notice that whenever I have pain, I get easily irritated, you know? So, uh, if I'm dealing with, if, you know, we're dealing with kids, my wife and work, I mean, that doesn't help out your relationship, does it? So you may want to live a pain-free life and that could also be helped out with either the emotion code or the body code. Number three, this is the big one, guys. You guys ready? So if you're taking the, you got your notes here, uh, it's reactive, reactivity with emotions. So I want you guys to picture this. Um, basically, if you felt sadness at age four, let's say your, your mother was very hard on you at age six, or, or even if you were in the womb of your mother and your mother was going through some things now, so I'm just going to be very real with you. What happens is you could have actually absorbed emotion and energy from your mother. What happens is it's easy for you to fall into that emotion over and over and over again. It's almost like a like a groundhog day of a bad emotion you felt long time ago that's still in the body, even though you're in the present state. And so what does that make you? It makes you very reactive. If you easily get angry or you easily get frustrated, that's not who you are. It's who you were before. And your body basically contained it, but it, it, it releases it very easily. When life presses on you, boom, it just it just comes out. And so your partner hasn't even seen the best of you yet. That's the reality of it. Um, they've seen moments where you're at your, at your highest abilities, but then you keep falling back to what? The reactivity of the trapped emotions. And so 
And what's kind of interesting is let's say your um, the, these emotions, let's say like frustration, maybe let's say it was in your last relationship, you had a lot of frustration, it was age 17 years old, now you're 45 years old. What will happen is, is that if your current husband or current partner is, is making you feel frustrated, he's not only currently putting you in that state of frustration, it's almost like he's, I want you to pitch this, like he's pushing you back into time. Um, like he just pushes you back and you like fly back to age 14 and then you almost like relive what you experience in the 14 age frustration and then you come back into the present and now it's way over exaggerated. And that's why, you know, couples start noticing like, hey, don't talk to him about this. This really pisses him off. If you really find like a little, there's actually a line, a fishing line that goes all the way back into his his, his timeline. And that, and that and basically when he goes back there, it makes it way worse. And so by the time you, you fly back into, into um, you went back into time, you come back, the uh, emotions way over exaggerated. You shouldn't have been that frustrated with your partner, but now it's overly exaggerated with, with gasoline on it because you went, they pushed you back to a triggered emotion. And so what I do is I remove those. I, I, let's say a husband came to me and said, you know, I get angry a lot. I don't know why I get angry. So I would go into a session and say, what are the trapped emotions that are causing you that, um, you know, you to be triggered to be angry? So I go into it and then all of a sudden I would start, you know, asking uh, different uh uh, I would be going through this, these, uh, this chart that goes column A, column B, even odd, and finding the emotion. Then all of a sudden, what I would do was I'd find the emotion. What's really cool, too, is I can find the age where I found it from. So I can say, is it between age 1 and 10, 10 and 20? I'll be muscle testing over here. I'm like, okay, it's between 10 and 20, age 14. Something happened where you were very angry. Remember, the qualification is the trapped emotion gets created when you're very angry. Uh, or very whatever. It's like a over-exaggerated emotion. And then you might even remember, oh wait, that's when I left my home or I got very upset at my parents because they did this to me, da, da, da. I'm like, great. So, and I'll ask the body, does that have anything to do with that? And then the body said, yes. So, um, so then what I do is I release it. I use this magnet and I release it. Now, you might even be experiencing pain from that trapped emotion. Like your neck, if you say I have neck pains, it may automatically go back to age 14 anger and I'll find it and then I'll clear it. And all of a sudden in front of me, you know, your pain lowers down from 30, 60, 90% on the spot and it stays away. Um, if, if you're a client of mine and you've experienced pain reduction or more peace from an emotion, feel free to comment below. But but yeah, it's 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 something that's it's instantaneously. And if you're like, well, do I have to have faith in this process? No. If you just show up technically to meet with me, you already have some type of faith. Otherwise, you wouldn't have shown up. You know, I tell that to my clients all the time. And I invite skepticism and that's why I offer free sessions is because I want to show them how I can reduce their pain right away and how it stays away or how I can work with different certain emotions that get easily triggered and finding a trapped emotion that's making that way. That's the first reason why relationships don't work is because two people are coming together They've been over, they have received overcharged emotions their whole entire life. They come into, it comes into their body. And what happens is they start, uh, they basically uh, come together. And, it, and I'll tell you kind of like the sort of the luggage um, metaphor where two people are coming and saying, all right, you leave your past behind. I'll leave my past behind. And you go into a home and all of a sudden you guys bring in these two luggages and you're like, wait a minute, I thought I was going to leave that behind. Wait, why do you have a luggage too? Inside this luggage is like full of bombs. And as soon as you push each other's buttons, you, you just take you, you take your arm, you just go in there like it's nobody's business. You chuck that at the person and it just explodes and they they fly into the wall and then now the wall of this beautiful mansion is now bloody. This was a beautiful white home. It could have been a beautiful white home, but you guys literally brought your past. I tell people, all the couples all the time, you're literally, your mistress is your, is your history. Your mistress is your past and it triggers you in the, in the worst ways possible and it really causes frustration and contention in the relationship. So that's number one is trapped emotions. We have a dozen of them. If you have one, like I said, I would, I would love to meet with you. We could do a free session and I'll tell me the three emotions that easily trigger out of you and we can work on that. I always tell people if you have pain in your body, it's kind of cool. We could do two birds with one stone where I'll help you out with your body and your emotional state. But if you just have, it's more emotional, then I can also work with just emotional. So that's the first thing, trapped emotion. The second thing is the heart wall. I'm going to make a video down, or I'm going to leave a link below on our YouTube channel. If you go down below, there should be a heart wall video. It has over like 7,000 views in just a month. Um, but basically, it's it's the, the reason, the one of the major reasons why people um, you know divorce or have relationship problems. So I'm going to tell you the five symptoms of the heart wall, and I'm going to keep this super, super short, maybe like in one minute. 
um, you know, what, what's going on. And some of you guys are just re really trying to hear me out and be like, okay, is this true? Is this real? Da, 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 da. That's again, why I offer free sessions for couples, because I want them to see how it works right in front of them, the, the feelings they feel when I release trapped emotions. It's an actual feeling you have. And then also, um, if pain stays down and you've had a migraine for 10, 15 years and, and you don't have a migraine anymore, this isn't some, some type of placebic effect. This is, and the reason why I know it's not placebic is because I've worked with children too and I only specifically work with the mother. And the child starts receiving all these changes where they have higher self-esteem, they start feeling better about themselves, uh, their grades improve, uh, they start becoming more popular at school because they, they uh, confidence attracts people, different things like that. And, and, and the mother doesn't even tell the child that we're working on them. So again, I know that this is you know something, I believe this is the future of medicine, the future of, of where we're going. Um, the, but the greatest discovery, this is number two, guys. So if you're writing, writing this down, number two, the greatest discovery is the heart wall. I'm not going to go way too into it, but let's just say this. The heart wall is actually something that's created every single time you feel emotional trauma and your heart hurts or it feels like it's being broken or it feels heavy. Your subconscious is creating a layer, an energetic layer created by trapped emotions in your body and it's basically adding over your heart. And so you may have multiple layers. People that have tons of layers, they usually have depression, anxiety, and PTSD. So if you have those, I clearly go to your heart wall first and I start removing these layers from your heart, which I can also use the magnet. And I can also find out the age and the emotion you felt where this emotional trauma was triggered. And I may know um, nothing about you at all. That's the beauty of it. It's like, how'd you know that my mother died here? How'd you know that my grandma passed away here? How'd you know that I had a really horrible breakup here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually don't know. I actually just, I'm, I'm muscle testing you from a distance and I'm finding out exactly every single time your heart felt pain and I'm removing it basically using the magnet. And then that's when you start feeling these five things. Here are the five symptoms of the heart wall. Number one is low immune system, low energy. Number one. Number two is indecisiveness of mission. So first of all, for a relationship, don't you need to have energy? Wouldn't it be great to have a stronger immune system so you can stay healthy to provide for your partner? You see how this is all correlated to relationships too, right? Number two is indecisiveness of mission. I don't think there's anything more unattractive, unattractive to your partner than a man who doesn't know where he's going or a woman who doesn't know where she's going. Or, you know, um, that that part of the heart wall makes you very indecisive. Like, should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? Should I be doing this? And what if you're being even like you're supposed to be a stay-at-home mom? That's a beautiful mission. I, like, you know, um, mo the greatest men on the planet came from women that were just pushing, you know, uh, helping the, the the children out. So, but what if you you're, you're mentally confirmed that you're a stay-at-home mom, but you haven't felt the joy, more joy, happiness, elation, the journey? That's because your heart hasn't confirmed it yet. Because it's hard to confirm something when you have a wall in front of it. So that's kind of like people are just indecisive, right? So that's number two. You'll have more sort of uh, clarity on your mission by number two. Uh, and that's very attractive. That keeps your partner attracted to you because, like I said, there's nothing more attractive than a man or a woman on a mission. Number three is um, you don't desensitize heart. Maybe you've noticed that you don't feel love uh, from, from people. You're like, you know, um, my partner, it's like I'm, I'm, sometimes I... I feel good vibes from him. Sometimes I don't feel anything. Like, I wonder if I'm over him. How many of you guys, honestly, in your marriage are like, I don't know, sometimes I just don't feel much. I mean, I know he's trying to give me love and affection, but I don't feel much. Maybe I'm over him? So you start questioning it. But all it really is is that if you've created a ton of layers, your heart is actually desensitized. So you don't feel it. Now, people who have PTSD, depression, who have gone to war, have been raped, or just horrible things to them, their walls are bigger. So the numbness is stronger. So you have to be very careful. I, don't, I can measure someone's heart wall and find out exactly where their emotional state is at. But I'm telling you that that heart wall desensitizes you. So you, it's kind of hard to give love back to someone when you don't feel much from them. So I can get people to the point where they're feeling again. You know, and I'll leave a little testimony that I'm working with um, somebody who's do, who has PTSD uh, uh, from, from the military and from some trauma in his past. And so you'll see what he says. If you look at the comment above this video on Facebook, you'll see what he's experiencing. And I've only cleared one fourth of his heart wall. So he had, we haven't even got started yet, but he's already experiencing it. So, so look for that post above. Uh, number four is uh, your love language gets lost in translation. So how many of you guys honestly can say when you say something to your partner and they take it completely offensively and you're like, why are you reacting like that? 
you think it's them, but it could also be you. And I'm telling you that this heart wall also breaks up your love language. So it's like a beautiful butterfly coming out of your heart has to go through all these walls, these energetic walls, and then they hear something different than what you said. So even if you have the greatest intentions, it's like me telling my wife, hey, you look great today. And then she'd be like, what? I didn't look good yesterday. Or you bring flowers to your to your partner and your partner's like, what, did you cheat on me? What happened? Like, this is all their, like their heart walls and your heart walls. And it's like two people shooting love blanks at each other. And there's just constant miscommunication. That has to do with heart wall issues. And imagine if a couple had a heart wall. This isn't good. The, the, the percentage rate of this succeeding is very, very low. And, and if you are still succeeding, you can tell me probably truthfully, it's been pretty tough. So then the last one is abundance and wealth. What is the biggest reason for people breaking up? Abundance and wealth. And so... Uh, I've seen so many people that clients of mine that have increased in wealth and money and things like that. Trust me, that's one of the biggest factors of why people break up. But what if you, what if both couples didn't have that issue? What if they can easily access to wealth and things like that? So you see why this could change your relationship. Number one, release all those trapped emotions. That's number one. Number two, or as many as you can. Number two is let's get rid of that heart wall. Number one is, uh, like I said, um, you know, more energy, immune system, mission orientation, receive love, give love and abundance. These things are affecting your relationship big time. And so uh, hopefully this enlightened you. Hopefully, again, um, basically let you think about outside the box about maybe what's really happening. Uh, like I said, I'm going to post below the heart wall video. If this is on YouTube, post a heart wall video so you can see what the heart wall is all about. It is the greatest discovery in energy healing and 93% of people have it. Maybe you don't know the term the heart wall, but you know the symptoms of the heart wall. So like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I just want to come from the heart and let you know that. Um, I don't actually, I'm not a, I've heard a lot of marriage counselors that they meet with people and then they actually go home fighting. Like they actually like, okay, well she brought this up. Well, what's wrong? You know, and they start going at it and they still have a heart wall and they still have energetic trapped emotions. See what I do is I remove these things from the body. So you're not reactive anymore. You're, you're way more proactive. Imagine, imagine if I started removing it, like let's say anger is in here, right? I remove anger from you like multiple times in your life. I could go through your, your timeline. You're going to feel anger for two minutes and then boom, it leaves and you're like, wow, I'm over it. Imagine how much better your relationship would be if you were less reactive. And so uh, hopefully this enlightened you today. I uh, hopefully you appreciated this message. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or tag anyone that might appreciate this. Let's get this video to go viral because the reality is, is that this is the most like hidden secret of why relationships are splitting up heart wall and trapped emotions. And so, uh, and if you're still skeptical, great. I invite it. Like, you know, get a free session from an emotion code practitioner, you know, or inbox me or whatever, but I'm just here to help out. And I know that because I've worked with 700 people this year, I know exactly what's kind of breaking people apart. And it, does, it actually gives you hope that maybe you guys were meant for each other, but the past has to go. You both have to have peace with your past and you both have to clear all the, the walls that you guys both created when you received emotional trauma that affected your heart. So this is Emmanuel Zavallos. I'm out here in Las Vegas. And um, I want more people to succeed in relationships. I want, I want my wife and I to improve in relationships. See, we both cleared our heart walls back in April 2016. It's 2017. And it's changed our lives in all those five different aspects. And so um, anyway, if you can, subscribe below. Uh, like I said, our, our, uh, our website's easy to go to. It's codingalternativevideos.com if you want to follow our videos. And uh, I, I hope I touched one person, maybe one husband or one wife or one somebody who's just looking for the answer of why are my relationship isn't working or why I'm, am I about to get a divorce or, or you know, things that I should know about before I get ma married. These are really, really important things. Uh, if you, if, I would definitely read the Emotion Code book by Dr. Bally Nelson. And I think you'd be really enlightened. I think this, this is, like I said, the future of, of medicine. It's the future of, of helping people out. So with that, take care guys. Have a great day. Bye -bye.